What's up guys? This morning we have a steel edger on the bench. It is the FC95 straight shaft. And the issue is our trigger mechanism is stuck. We've got some stuff probably, you know, uh, jacked up inside the handle here. Uh, the spring's probably broken, and you can tell we've got some pretty apparent uh, damage to the handle itself. So I was just in the book here looking up some parts, and uh, I've got the handle assembly in stock, and I'm going to go ahead and put a new throttle cable on it, number 13. And there's some part numbers right there, and the part numbers for the cable coincide with my parts book so we're good to go there let's get this thing assembled i'm going to show you how to assemble this handle and install the new throttle cable basically utilizes the same engine as the fs series uh, trimmers with the four mix engine uh, pretty straightforward repair we're gonna take the top engine cover off right here two bolts and one on the back right here this top should just pull right up We're going to disconnect our coil wires. Pretty simple. And then disconnect the throttle cable. Just slide it out of its bore there. And then you should be able to snake it down take the cable and we're going to push it down and I'll show you where it lodges or dislodges from the carburetor we're just going to push that down and just slide it out just like that and pull the cable on out just loosen the power head clamping bolt At this point, we can just kind of twist and remove the complete power head from the shaft there. Oh, and basically I just, whenever I'm replacing the throttle cable, it's so much easier to just take your pair of dice and just snip it off. We're just going to loosen it up and just slide the old one right off the shaft. One clamp here and one clamp here. Should be able to just slide that right off. All right, let's go ahead and build our new handle assembly. Get it all unpackaged. The new throttle cable comes with a new wiring harness and a new cable, of course, the ends for the coil and a new kill switch. We're gonna to have to disassemble the new handle, so let's go ahead and just take the screws out. There's only a four. Right, we got these four screws removed, so let's just split this in half. Nothing's gonna come flying out at you, so don't be intimidated. This side here it has absolutely nothing in it, and this is the side that we're going to uh, be putting the new throttle, throttle cable into. It's pretty simple. It's, uh, you can't, you know, mess it up too bad. You got a place for it to lay here. And then uh, basically you just got a Z bend that you have to put in the throttle trigger here. Take your finger and just kind of pick up on the spring and just let the tension off. And then we're gonna slide the trigger assembly out. Slide the throttle trigger lock 
lever out of its bore and there's a spring that holds this up so just be paying attention and don't let it fly out your kill switch has two little holes here they're going to rest on the two little boss holes there are the two bosses right here on the handle so just get your switch put in there and we're going to snake the wires up underneath the spring here should look just like this when you're done and if you're wondering how the switch operates basically you have a ramp on the kill switch or the kill lever here and whenever you put it to off the ramp pushes down on the micro switch and completes the circuit grounding out the ignition coil the easiest way is just to put the spring on the lever and just hold it with your thumb here and let me show you where it goes the crook of the spring here needs to go behind this little plastic rib right here so be right in this little pocket pocket so let's go ahead and i'll show you so go ahead and start down with it slide your spring and the lever over the post slide it down and then cam it forward making sure that that spring is in its little pocket and then push it down should look just like that Go ahead and install the throttle cable 90 degree into the throttle trigger here and as you install it when it comes around to lock in it goes just like that and actually holds the spring in as well so let's drop this down the trigger assembly back in here basically you just want to get the thick part of the spring around this boss right here and just cam it up and it'll slide right in or if you have thumbs of steel like me you can just push the spring down over that post there should look like that we're going to put the throttle cable in its bore let it snap in we're going to pull the wiring harness to make our wires straight and then we're going to push our loom up into see how this wire loom and you see these three serrations that wire loom goes up into those serrations and that's what holds the loom in Let's go ahead and get it pushed up on there. Everything looks good. No wires going, going to get in the way. The wires are laid down in the channel that they go in. Throttle cable's installed. So now let's just reinstall the cover and put our screws back in. Just verify everything's working. The throttle lock is working. Push it down and you can operate the throttle. Make sure your switch is not binding. Make sure you're actually throttling. At this point, we can just go ahead and slide the assembly right over the shaft and go past where you normally would go just so we can have room to work. Kind of bend those out of the way and then slide the power head back on making sure that the shaft and the uh, clutch are lined up normally what I'll do is I'll come up here and spin the 
shaft here with my finger and then reinstall the power head and everything should slide right in and let me show you so i'm gonna go down to the power head or the the end of the cutter i'm going to slide the engine forward i'm going to spin the shaft and make sure it's spinning my flywheel or the clutch drum and i think we're good good and engaged so just push the power head as far as it will go and then tighten the nut or the bolt screw whatever go ahead and give your trimmer a good cleaning i'm just going to blow all this garbage and dust and grass out of here Now the rule of thumb here to get your throttle control spacing between the power head and the throttle control, uh, from what I understand and whenever I went to the silver, the, the school for steel, they just said basically a finger's width. But I always like to just cover up, uh, just cover up that hole. Now it's obvious that this shaft, this hole should be on the bottom but it's okay. It's not, it's, you know, it's a unidirectional shaft. So I'm just gonna push it back to where it was originally, right about there. What you don't wanna do is kink the throttle cable here. You don't wanna just cram it back so hard that it kinks that throttle cable. But the right there is good. A little forward of it would be even better, but just, just cover that hole and you're good to go. Slide your throttle cable into its holder and the cable itself, we're gonna snake in between the throttle advance ramp here. And just install your throttle cable into the carburetor there and then let your carburetor shaft go and it should just slide right in. Reinstall your coil wires. Just make sure the wires aren't going to interfere with anything. That looks good. Let's just make sure everything is working. Got the right amount of free play inside the barrel of the uh, throttle control lever there for adjustments. You don't want this thing adjusted all the way tight. If you do, you have some adjustments inside the old or inside of here, but uh, that that's good. Let me show you these adjustments just in case you're getting some issue with the throttle cable being too tight. Here's the old one, and you see where the throttle cable lays down in its holder here, and you see these serrations? They coincide with the serrations here, and you can slide this barrel up and down about, I don't know, half an inch to take up the slack if needed, and you just lock it in place Get your cover put back on and she's ready to go.
got the little four mix going one more time. If this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and hit smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And you can also hit me up on Facebook, The More Medic One, and uh, we'll love to see you over there. And uh, anyway, guys, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.